So as you can see, as soon as this page loads, we have the list of users. So we are fetching the user data with the help of an API. So today we are going to create this intermediate level functionality. Welcome to the 14th video of real world JavaScript series. So here we are waiting for the DOM to be loaded with the help of this DOM content loaded event. And after that, we will get references to our key elements that is error loading and this user list by using this document.get element by ID. And after this to fetch the users, we are using this async function. We will use here try catch block. Here we are doing an API call. This is the API URL and we are using fetch. And if response is not okay in that case only we are throwing the error and if response is fine we are converting it to json and to disable our loading animation here we are using this display none now let's take a look on our html as well so here we have this loading animation thing and after this we have our user list and inside this we will append our users and then we have this error part okay so let's get back to the javascript part for each user fetch from the api we are running here for each so first we will create one element that is li and we will assign a class name to it that is list group item and for this css is already written and we are doing here HTML stuff winding the data with this HTML and then here we are doing this append child that is adding the listed item to our unordered list and then here we have the catch error part and if you want to take a closer look on this code then github repository link is present inside the description of this video and then at the end we will use this fetch users function to fetch our users now before we take a look on our UI there is a request that please share this video with your friends and don't forget to drop a like here we have the UI